Hey everyone, Rick Danger Productions here, doing part two of the uh, Transformers Constructabot two pack, and this time on Megatron. Uh, if you haven't seen the Optimus one yet, check it out in my channel. Unfortunately, I was unable to do a link in the description type thing like our other YouTubers did, but uh, it's, mm, I, it's not worth it. I mean, you can check it out on my channel. So. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, this is Megatron. I think they're trying to base him off the way he looked in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Not bad, but, uh, he had actual tank trays. He didn't have tires. How about? But yeah, he rolls. Well, they would all roll if they were not, you know, all tires roll. So, yeah. But, yeah, this is the tank here. His cannon can rotate side to side. But it can't move up and down. See, it will not move up and down. But, it's still, this is an actually an interesting figure. Not my favorite, but not my least favorite, but still really nice. So yeah, to transform them, let me raise this up a bit so you can see it. Transform them. What I usually do is take off this thing. It is you can put it, you can put it back on. Rotate these pieces around. These will become his shoulders. Turn the tires around. Pull them up. Bring down the hands. Unpack this piece from the legs. Then you can separate the legs. So on this one, the the little slots are a lot tighter. Ow! And it hurts. Bring the legs down. Rotate the waist around. Plug, plug it in. Snap, snap it into place. Ah! Sorry. Snap it into place. Sorry for my stuttering. I just I woke up at nine. Right now, it's almost 11. So, yeah. Bring the feet down. Of course, position the arms. Well, I don't think I got that, but bring the feet down like so. Take this piece, fold it back. Of course, you take the head out first. I'm doing it off camera. Okay, you bring this chest down, then you can fold out the head, bring this back up, like so, then you can fold this piece down, because again, if the head was still in there, this will not fold in flush, so bring the head up first, then you can put it, fold it down like so, whoops. And then you reattach the uh, part, this part of the tank, back on like so. And there we have Megatron. Oops. Not a bad figure. Um, if only there was a more to him, but, uh, oh well. He also comes with extra pieces, but I'm not going to show them, since this one makes this video too long. So, here is extra weapons that are combined. I just need to separate them. <laughs> he 
comes with this gun. I think it's supposed to be some sort of machine gun or something. It looks like it's from the Transformers War for Cybertron or Fall of Cybertron games. I don't know. It comes with this uh, this little cannon here. I don't know what this is called either, but oh well. And I just dropped the camera. No, I just dropped my iPod. Sorry about that. And he also comes with his mace. This little club here. With spikes on it. Now the spikes are not sharp. But still, they will kind of hurt you, like, grab it like that, or something, so yeah. It has holes where you could peg in some stuff. Um, he can hold his guns, like so. He can hold both of them. And the, the club, I found out, you can actually peg it right here for storage. Now, a lot of people will be, at, will be asking, how come he can't have, doesn't have this little fusion can? Well, that's where you are wrong. He actually does. You just need to Get this out of his hand. You can actually give him his fusion cannon like he had in Generation 1. You just take off this piece here. Like so. Then you can peg it on to his, to his hand like that. So you can give him his fusion cannon like, like so. If you want. And it has the same firing missile. I'm not gonna sh shoot it this time. Uh, put it back on there. Take this. You know, while his gun is out, um, I'm gonna take off his little club from the back and show you that he can hold it. Yeah, he can hold it easy peasy. Anyway, now let's get get onto his articulation. Just I just need to take off his or take out his guns, old mace and gun, and I'm just knocking the iPod all over the place. Articulation. His head can rotate all the way around, but it's tight. It can look up. On here and on this joint here, but one thing I'm not a fan of, he is smiling. I don't think that should be there. I think he should be more. I mean, the way I know Megatron, he's more serious, more, more mad, just more pissed off, in my opinion. I don't know why he's smiling. I think that's kind of pathetic. I don't know why they did that, but yeah, what are you gonna do? His arms can move in and out, all the way around. It bends at the elbow, bends here at the wrist. His wrist, his hand can bend and rotate. Yeah, his, sorry about that. His legs can move forward and back, in and out, bend at the knee. Bend at the uh, ankle, and his feet can move forward and back, side to side, and rotate. So yeah, sometimes I wish he had more articulation. I mean, if if his knees and elbows were made of ball peg joints, in rub, made of rubber, 
Um, it would he would have been more plausible, but oh well. Anyway, I'm just gonna put everything back on him. Bring it off camera for the mate for the club. There we go. Yeah, this sorry, this video is a bit longer. I uh. There was not there was not much else to say about Megatron. He's basically the same thing as Optimus. Only difference is he has uh, different parts to him, and uh, the way he set it up is different. But yeah, that's all I've got to say to him. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.